What's up guys, Champ here bringing another Black Ops 3 gameplay. Today what I got for you guys is the new DLC gun, the KVK. And what I'm going to get for you guys is a nuclear in this game. Pay no attention to what happened right there. Mistakes were made for sure at the beginning of this game. Try to wall run right there right off the bat. How frustrating. Run into a teammate, we both die. Not the best start to a game. Usually not the way you start off right before you get a nuclear, but we're just going to kind of act like that didn't happen. Pretend you didn't see that real quick, and this is the nuclear streak right here. So basically, I took one death before it started. I don't even know if I could count that. I kind of blame my teammate for that one right there. So what we're using, like I said, is that new KVK. It's a new assault rifle that just came into the game. It used to be, it's like the remake of the AN-94 from Black Ops 2, which is a really popular gun that a lot of people like to use back then. And in this game, it's really not much different, to tell you the truth. I love this gun in this game. I mean, I don't have that much experience with playing it in Black Ops 2, but I know in this game, this game, gun is unbelievable. I mean, this is one of the better guns in the game now. For a DLC gun to come out and be one of the better guns in the game, that's just crazy. But that kind of happens towards the end of these... Uh, you know these games they don't really care anymore about weapon balancing they want to give you something to go for they want to give you a reason to go out and spend some money try to earn some crypto keys and try to get these guns so you got that xmc that just came out it's a submachine gun and that's like the best sub in the game right now now you got this gun the kvk 99 which is one of the best assault rifles in the game i would actually compare it to maybe the kn44 a little bit which is why i like it so much because i love using the kn44 but i'd say it's a lot more accurate and it kills a little bit quicker even or a little better from range at least like the kn44 kills really quick regardless and this gun does too from small and medium ranges but this gun has a lot more accuracy i would say so you have a better the more ability to just take people out from further ranges and that's why i like this gun a little better than the kn44 i'd say but it is comparable to the kn44 i would say that they're pretty similar in that way and the XMC, which you're going to see in my next gameplay, because I got a nuclear on breach here in this first gameplay. And in the next gameplay, I got just about another nuclear. I fall a tiny bit short. I think it's a 27 or 28 gun streak that I go on using this gun for most of it. And then I pick up an XMC and I finish out with that. So for the score streaks in this game, and there's a reason why I'm using these score streaks, but the ones I put on are UAV, Hater, and the power core obviously i'm going for gun streaks that's why i'm using these score streaks but there is a reason why i put on the power core this gun is loud it's probably the biggest downfall of this gun is like when you're shooting this gun people could hear you using this gun from halfway across the map everybody knows if you're using this gun i mean for the least for the people that have heard this gun before it's very distinct it's very noticeable and it's very easy to locate the person by just listening where the sound is coming from so that's why i threw the power core on hoping that the power core could help me out a little bit with that help muffle the sound take me off the radar a little bit more and i can go on these longer gun streaks just a little bit easier because this gun is loud like i said powerful but loud definitely its biggest downfall besides that i wouldn't even say it has that big of a downfall the class setup that i'm running on this is probably the best class that i was able to come up with this i was trying to go without stock for a while i was trying to go quick draw like extended mags fast mags and that was pretty good, but then I realized once I threw the stock on this gun, I played so much better with it. I don't really feel like I need a grip, so I don't throw grip on it. So now the perks that I got, or the attachments that I got on this gun, is extended mags. I like to have a little extra ammo. I don't really like to run scavenger that much, though you will see that I do have scavenger on in this game. So for this game, I have extended mags, I got quick draw, and then I got stock on those are the three attachments that I got for this game. And I actually am running Scavenger in this game. I'm running Scavenger, I'm running Fast Hands, I'm running Afterburner, and then I'm running Tack Mask. So I got five perks, three attachments set up here. But what I try to do is, because I don't really like running without flat jacket, I really just wanted to run Scavenger, get a nuclear so I could throw up this gameplay for you guys so I could have this gun for the majority of the nuclear. If not, I was running out of bullets with this gun, probably on like a relentless, like a 15 gun streak. And then I had to finish up with other guns, almost every other gameplay that I had with this gun. So that's why I was like, you know what, throw on the 
We'll throw on the scavenger. We'll make sure I get a nice gameplay using just this gun. And then for the, then on out, I'm just going to go back to my normal class setup. Because playing without Flapjack is a disaster. There's so many gun streaks I went on while trying to get these gameplays. For like an RC car just came and just beat up on me. I'm like a 15 gun streak. I just picked up my Relentless right there actually. And this is now when an RC car would come flying out of those doors and just take me out. Not having flap jacket on, I mean, you die so easy from explosives. So the second gameplay you're going to see that I'm going to run, which more likely what my favorite class setup is for this gun. And the only difference is I throw on flap jacket and take off scavenger. The attachments stay the same. I'm still going to use quick draw. I'm still going to use stock. And I'm still going to use extended mags. The reload is really slow with this gun. But if you put 45 bullets with the extended mags, you don't have to reload that often. I mean, I could take out probably about four people before having to reload with the extended mags on. Even when you only have 30 bullets in this gun, it's not that bad. You can kill like two, three people with it. But then you will run out of ammo a little easier. I throw the extended mags on instead of fast mags just to have that extra bullets just so I could use this gun for a little bit longer while going on these gun streaks. Right now you'll notice I'm just kind of playing smart. I'm working this side of the building just trying to take people out. I got the power core and the hater up. So there's really no need to go head up with these guys right now. I'm just kind of going from spot to spot, taking them out. I'm probably close to a brutal right now. Maybe even a little further than a brutal right now. I've been taking guys out pretty quickly, staying on the outskirts of the map. When I play on Breach, I do try to stay on the outskirts of the map a little bit. It just seems to be a little bit easier to take people out, staying to the, the corners and whatnot. Once you go in that middle, I mean, people like to chill with sniper guns and really like tough spots to get at in the building and near the radiator. It could be kind of tough to go on these long gun streaks if you're going through the middle a lot on this map. But staying to these outskirts right here just helps you out a lot. It also keeps me at ranges that just benefit me with this gun. You guys might have noticed I just picked up my nuclear right there, 30 gun streak, and I'm going to make a huge mistake. The funny thing is when this happened, like live when I was playing this game, I thought I just blew the nuclear. I thought I died maybe one, two. I actually didn't even realize how close I was. Never saw the brutal metal pop up when I was playing. So I thought I just blew the nuclear, so I was all pissy. Ended up finishing this game not that great. This is the last play of the game. I skipped a little bit because I want to get to the next gameplay. So I end up finishing this 44 and 7 because I took about five frustration deaths at the end of that game, thinking that I choked the nuclear because I've been trying to get this nuke with this KVK. And it turns out, you know, I'm going to show you guys my medals real quick. I'm not going to show you too long of it. Nice little two piece I got at the end of the game right there. Also, I mean, it turns out I ended up pulling the nuclear right on the dot and I had no clue, did not know I got it. So I went from being pissed off and like, you know, a little pouty little girl here. Like, oh, I didn't get it, didn't get it. To all of a sudden I was happy and like, there it is. Look at that. You can see the nuclears right there on the top right in the medals. And I had no clue I got it. So it's kind of like a surprise nuclear with this KVK-99. And this game, I was no surprise. I actually knew where I stood in this game. It's on map combine, and I'm using a little bit different of a setup. But it's kind of the same thing. Like I said, it's the same attachment. So we're still going with quick draw. We're still going with extended mags. And we are still using the stock. The only difference is I took off Scavenger in this gameplay. And I put on Flap Jacket. I mean, this is combine. People are going to be throwing nades in that computer room. There's going to be putting trip mines and chargers all over the place. So I'm not trying to deal with that. I already got my nuclear using just the KVK. Now, if I have to, if I run out of bullets, I'll pick up a CUDA KN44. Finish off my nuke if I have to. If I can, it's more likely. It's not always as easy as I make it out to be. Sometimes it can be pretty tough to get these nukes. You know, one little mistake, and next thing you know, you're dead on a 25 gun streak, and you got to start over again. You got to get rolling again. And once you die in one game off like a 20, 25 gun streak, chances are you do not have enough time to go ahead and get that nuclear. So that's the one death you're going to see me take in this game. You're going to see I'm frustrated. I just start blasting bullets at the wall. I did pretty good though. I ran up in their spawn and I was just kind of demoralizing them there in the spawn, just destroying everybody on their team with this KVK, which is not even like, you know, up close SMG gun, but because I put the stock on it, that kind of helps it out. So this is the gun streak I'm going to go on right here. And that first little set of streaks that I got right there is what helps me go on this gun streak because I got the power core. Actually, I don't have the power core. I got the hater up though. So once you throw the hater up, I kind of use that. I play aggressive because I just died. So it's not like I'm 
trying to extend my gun streak right now. I'm actually trying to start a new one. So I started off aggressive, got a couple points there just using the KVK. Then I got a base. Then I actually get another base by the end of that half. And I don't really run into much action before that half. So, so that's why I skipped the rest of that half and I went to the second half here. I'm still on the same gun streak through my combat focus on. Took that base and ended up getting the Wraith right off the bat. Using a little bit different of the score streak setup in this one. I'm just using the Wraith. I'm using the hater i'm using the power core the power core and the hater are definitely the most important ones when trying to go on this gun streak right here and like i said especially with this gun because you kind of want to use the power core the counter uav is not going to muffle much volume for the other team but the power core will so i feel like the power core is just a little bit better a little more beneficial than using the counter uav right here i'm going to pick all three of those guys off and that just kind of shows how good this gun could be see how quickly i just got a nice little triple in that window yeah they shouldn't all have been camping in the same window they kind of made it easy for me but still with how quickly everybody just died right there this is one of the few guns where you could really take people out that quickly I mean, obviously there's some SMGs, but this is an assault rifle that I just did that with at those ranges. So that's one of the main benefits of this gun is it really doesn't have a weakness besides that loudness to it. Besides that, everything else about this gun, all other ranges seem to work very well. This is pretty much one of my new favorite guns. I'm still going to do a huge supply drop video so I can get you guys the XMC, hopefully, and get a bunch of gameplays with that. You guys know I got a bunch of other guns in that supply drop video. I I got the Olympia. I'm going to start getting some gameplays with that, but I just kind of got hooked on using this gun. And I've only been on use it for like two days. So you guys know I just did the supply drop. It was literally like one or two days ago. And I already got nuclear and I got this gameplay with it. So you know I'm going to be getting a lot more nukes. I didn't even get to play with this gun as much as I would have liked yet because I had work both those days. So I really only got to use this gun for a couple hours, and that's why at first I wasn't doing the best with it because I didn't have stock right away. As soon as I got stock on this gun, literally everything changed. I felt like all my gameplays just started getting better. I was getting my streaks way more often. I was going like 15s, 20s. I'm not going to show you guys those because we're looking for something a little better than that. 15s and 20s, you know, they're not bad gun streaks. I'm going to be happy with a game where I go on like a 15 or 20, but it's not what I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to show you guys the bigger ones. I'm going to show you guys Brutals, Nuclears. We're past all those ruthless and relentless days. Moving on to bigger and better things. So that's why you can always expect to see better gameplays on my channel here at Champ Gaming. We're not going to settle for anything less than that. We're just going to bring you guys the better gameplays. And if I don't have one, I just ain't going to show you one at the time. But most likely I'm going to have one. Because right now i got about 15 gameplays that I want to show you guys that I don't have enough time to just get them out there. Even before this gameplay, I had like four other nuclears I wanted to show you guys. But then I got this one. It's with a new gun. So I figured i got to show you a new gun first. I mean, everybody wants to see the new guns. Everybody's seen nuclears in every single different sort of way with the other guns. So why not catch a little KVK nuclear? And like I said, you want to hear about this gun. You want to know if it's worth going out and trying to get for yourself. In my opinion, normally I would say don't. Don't worry about going out in supply drops and trying to get these guns. They're really not that big of a deal. Most of the time, the guns that are already in the game are a lot better anyways. But in this case, it's not this gun is nasty you do want to get this gun don't go spending millions of dollars on supply drops just play the game and try to get it try to do the objectives try to get your grand slam just try to get those free bribes whenever you could so that you have a better chance of maybe picking up that gun the kvk 99 and if you don't get that gun but you get this gun the xmc instead don't be mad because i actually feel like this gun right here is just a little better probably because i like smgs i mean look at the work i'm putting in with this gun i just picked it up right after i got a relentless so i'm probably on almost a brutal right now and once I pick this gun up, this is just, this gun suits combine a little better because this is a smaller map. But you guys are going to see, I'm going to go on about a 27, a 28 gun streak. That's been the new KVK-99, the old AN-94 remake. So it's a nasty gun. Take it from me. If you get that gun, be happy. You want that gun. You definitely want that gun. So I'm going to finish out here. I hope you guys liked the gameplay. If you did, definitely hit the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe to me at Champ Gaming. Lots more gameplays to come. Tons more nuclears to come. And someone already said that they want to see another supply drop. So when I finish that Grand Slam, I'll be doing another supply drop. This has been Champ at Champ Gaming. Come see me.